how to get rid of smelly feet While most people will experience a case of smelly feet from time to time, some people live in fear of taking their shoes off. The medical term for smelly feet is bromidosis. The good news is that many treatments are available to reduce the incidence of the condition. Facts on smelly feet Here are some key points about smelly feet. More detail and supporting information is in the main article. Bacteria and moisture are the underlying causes of most cases of smelly feet. Smelly feet are not usually a medical concern, but they can affect a person's relationships and cause self-consciousness. Bacteria naturally live on people's feet. When the bacteria rid themselves of wastes from breaking down oils and dead skin cells, bad smells can result. How to reduce feet smell? Wearing socks Wearing socks can help address smelly feet and reduce the incidence of sweaty feet. Socks, especially those made from sweat-wicking materials, can absorb sweat and reduce odors. Socks are also easy to change, and doing so may reduce the odors that may otherwise linger inside a person's shoes. Certain shoes Wearing shoes that have some breathability can help reduce the incidence of sweating and moisture. People can look for shoes that have mesh panels, which allow for breathability. Shoes made from plastic, such as jellies, are almost guaranteed to contribute to smelly feet because they are not breathable and promote foot sweating. Exfoliating the feet People can use a scrub or a pumice stone to remove dead skin cells that bacteria like to feed on. A person who has especially smelly feet may wish to use a pumice stone two to three times each week to avoid buildup. Pumice stones are available for purchase online. People should also wash their feet every day with antibacterial soap, paying close attention to the areas between the toes. Salt soak soaks are potentially useful as part of an exfoliating routine or on their own. A person can prepare a bowl or tub of warm water and dissolve half cup of Epsom salts in it. Soak the feet for 10 to 20 minutes, and then dry the feet thoroughly. Vinegar soak Another type of soak is a vinegar soak. A person can add two parts warm water and one part vinegar, apple cider vinegar and white vinegar are both suitable, to a tub and soak the feet for 15 to 20 minutes. However, a person should not use a vinegar soak if they have any cuts, sores, or scratches, as the vinegar may irritate open areas of skin. Antiperspirant Another remedy a person can use is antiperspirant on the feet. Although traditionally used for the underarms, antiperspirant might also reduce the incidence of excessive sweating on the feet. Iontophoresis One treatment option for a person with smelly feet is a process called iontophoresis. This approach involves delivering a mild electric current to the skin through water for 15 to 40 minutes, depending on the device, to reduce the incidence of sweating feet. When to consult a doctor if a person suddenly experiences a new onset of smelly feet, they should inspect their feet for signs of sores or cuts that could be infected. They can put a mirror on the floor and examine the bottom of the feet to look for any abnormalities. A person should see a doctor if they see signs of wounds on their feet. Redness, red streaks, and swelling may be signs of infection. A person should consult a medical professional to address this immediately especially if they have diabetes, as they may experience complications. If a person does not have any signs of wounds, over-the-counter and at-home measures should reduce the incidence of smelly feet. A person should not suffer or feel self-conscious as a result their smelly feet, and they should seek medical advice, 